Sometimes it gets our attention. Sometimes it is for simply inertia. They can be eaten with your hands at ease. We can't live without them. They are the hot dogs. Even though hot dogs are a typical American fast food, the hot dogs from Ciudad Obregón are the most iconic ones in the country. This originated in Chinal and came to Obregón over half a century ago. It's a combination of the bread, the sausage, the way of cooking them, and most importantly, the add-ons. Hot dogs have become a vital part of the local culture and it is almost a duty to eat them after a night out and even during a night in. It is their availability, their price, the most importantly, the taste that have made them so huge. We all eat hot dogs. We go out and eat them with friends, family, and even ourselves. Hot dogs are so important in, in our gastronomic Mexican culture. But how can we know what is the best experience to consume them? Since hot dogs are so important in our culture, and they're considered as fast food, there are four aspects we got to acknowledge, which are taste, establishment, complements, and health. We asked a number of random hot dogs consumers which hot dogs they frequent the most. We checked the results and the hot dogs were hot dogs Macario, hot dogs Pedro, hot dogs Rubén del Chinal, and Monster Dogs. In order to measure the taste aspect of the research, some interviews were made to analyze random customers' opinion and drag them in a graph. The results of the poll showed Rubén del Chinal is considered the least tasteful one out of the four with an average rating of 8 out of 10, just behind Hot Dogs Macario and Monster Dogos with 9 out of 10 each. Hot Dogs Pedro after the most tasteful hot dogs and received the best score out of the ones analyzed with an excellent rating of 10 out of 10. Hot dog stands are not normally famous for being pretty. Nonetheless, this is a factor that is important when eating and has a big impact in experience from eating out. This takes us to the next factor, establishment. To analyze this factor, it was considered the stand, tables, chairs, the location, and the noise pollution. After considering that a few stands were the only ones accomplishing with rules of hygiene and pollution, it was drawn to close that Monster Dogos accomplished a best established location, which is reduced in noise pollution and with a good looking hygienic stand. What differentiates the hot dogs made in Oregon from other cities are the toppings and sides they offer to personalize it and make it your own, which takes us to the third factor, compliments. Hot dogs are not only about the sausage, the bacon and the vegetables. There are many ways to make a hot dog your own and make it unique. This is why Offered complements are of great importance in Ciudad Obregón's hot dogs, important enough to beat the next factor. This is divided in three categories, which kind of hot dogs, what toppings, and what sides they offer. First, Hot Dogs Pedro offers normal jumbo hot dogs and chili dogos. They offer few toppings like cheese and guacamole, as well as sides like fries. Next, Hot Dogs Macario offers only normal and jumbo hot dogs. They offer the same toppings as Hot Dogs Pet, yet they do not offer fries. In another way, Ruben del Chinal, as well, only offers normal and jumbo hot dogs. They offer even less toppings and they do not have guacamole, but they offer fries. At last, but not least, Monster Dogos offers many different kinds of hot dogs, like jumbos, monsters, embarazadas, momias, and salads. They offer many more toppings like mushrooms, cheese, 
guacamole, bacon, and chips. They also offer bacon wrapped peppers as well as fries. Are you really conscious about all the amount of calories that you are consuming while eating that appetizing hot dog? Let's move on to the healthy aspect and find it out. We asked the hot dog burners where to get their sausage and bread from, and we got the same answer for most of them, which is the bread from Panerai del Cisne and the sausage from Rosarito. So let's start our research about the possible amount of calories we get from these materials from these stores. After visiting the official site of Rosarito and using the site Calorie King to calculate the amount of ketchup, mayo, mustard, bacon and fries that are in a hot dog, the average amount of calories encountered in a normal hot dog was discovered. These were the results. Normal sausage 58 calories, jumbo sausage 122, bread 256, bacon 46, ketchup 20, mustard 9, mayo 90, fries 400, making a sum of 825 in a normal hot dog and 947 in a jumbo hot dog. The average amount of calories a human must consume is around 1,500 to 2,000, which makes the calories when eating a hot dog exceed the limit, although eating a hot dog once in a while is not harmful. Health is not only about calories, it is also about hygiene. In order to know more about this subject, professional assistance was required, so we had to visit an expert in microorganisms, Ramses Cuevas. Unfortunately, one of our team's cell phone broke and we lost the footage of the interview. Thankfully, we have the transcript and we were able to record the information. Engineer Cuevas shared with us to be aware from microorganisms that are found in mesophilic range, given that those develop themselves in room temperature and are the ones that are generally related with an intestinal tract and from which people should be care about them. At the same time, he insisted to be aware from the most harmful microorganisms in health, which are fecal and total polyforms. He explained how human and animal fecal matter dissolve in the air and reach the hot dogs we consume. This is in fact what determines the quality of the product. Out of the stands we analyzed, monster doubles are the ones who most successfully accomplish with the factors taste, establishment, complements and health. And even though they didn't accomplish with a couple of these, uh, this stand has, was the best, which is arguably the most important factor, which is health. So now you have enough information to take into consideration when choosing which hot dogs are your favorite. Some of these factors are very commonly overlooked but they are of massive importance when having the best experience eating hot dogs. But it's a personal decision which of these factors has the greatest importance at the time of choosing a place to eat. But when all these factors are reached is when the best overall experience is achieved. So now that we know all this, let's go and eat some hot dogs. <laughs> 